Hey guys, so another um, different kind of maybe sort of video for you guys. Um, first of all, hey, what's up? I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm so sorry this is a late upload. Um, I had a whole lot of stuff. You know what life happens. I have kids and you know, I have a late class. I'm in the parking lot of campus tonight, right now actually, uh, doing this voiceover because it was just so crazy and loud at my house. But, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys the lowdown on my prep. I know I have, um, a really old video on here of me prepping my nails, but I figured why not do an updated one. Um, and then we're going to do a little experiment later. So this is how I prep. I do very simple prep work. Um, I have already soaked off my existing or was previously existing <laughs> Manny. Um, so I did that. And for those of you who wonder how I soak off, I do have a removal video on this channel. So check that out. Super, super simple. I take my nails off in literally like 10 minutes and I do each hand separately. So once I have everything removed, I go in with my um, cuticle pusher and this is just a basic cuticle pusher. I have a couple of them. Some of them look kind of scary. So I probably should have used it for the, the Halloween video, but I'm using this one. Um, very gently push back the skin, not the dead skin. I'm not pushing a dead skin back. I'm pushing back the actual skin um, just so I have as much, you know, real estate on my nail plate as possible. After I've pushed back my cuticle, I'm going to take this drill bit off because this is my coarse um, safety bit that I use to do my removals. So I'm going to take this bit off and I'm going to grab my um, 240 grit sanding band. Now, this is a very fine sanding band. I would never use anything abrasive on my natural nails. This is the bit that you're going to see. Um, your, if you have an e-file, it probably came with this bit, it probably came with sanding bands. I would highly advise you not use sanding bands that came with your file. They are not fine grit. They are way too coarse. You want to use them for removal, go right ahead. You can use that on top of product all day long. Wouldn't recommend using those on your natural nail though. They're really, they're really abrasive. So with the prep and with a sanding band on my natural nails, I do keep my, um, my e-file on a super low speed. Uh, it's maybe a quarter of the way. I don't know, to 30,000 RPM, and I do not do my entire nail plate with the sanding band. I'm only going over the um, area near the cuticle, near the skin, the dead cuticle. I don't remember what it's called, hypernicium, some kind of weird science-y term. I don't know. Someone please tell me what it is. Hyponicium. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably making things up. Um, but that's the actual skin. I'm not going over my skin. I'm going over the dead cuticle that is left from just my nail growing out a little bit. I'm going to take that off because if you put product over that, over your dead white skin near your cuticle, um, your product is not actually sticking to your nail. It's sticking to your skin. And when it flakes off, guess what's up? Yep, your nail is going to pop off too. Not your nail, but you know, your embellishment, your extension, your acrylic, your gel, whatever you put on your nail that hit, that touches that skin it's just going to come off. So this is why I do my prep like this. I make sure that there is no skin or dead skin whatsoever on my nail plate. So my product will last. And that's going to be part of our experiment. I'm going to do a new set. And while I will continue making videos and showing you demos of stuff on my left hand, I'm not going to do anything to my right hand. I'm going to see how long I can get this set to last because <laughs> I don't keep nails on very long. You guys probably have noticed I do sets pretty frequently. <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm dying. I think I just choked on my own saliva. <coughs> you guys ever do that? <laughs> Drink coffee the wrong way. Maybe my allergies are bad again. Ugh, Florida. Anyway, so we're going to see how long the set will last. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other hand. I'm going to let you guys watch um, so you can, you know, veg out and watch me prep. And I'll be right back.
All right, so now that I've gotten all of that dead skin off my nail plate, I'm gonna take the shine off of the entire nail with my polar buffing block thingamajig. And I go super gentle. I do go back over that cuticle area, you know, just for the sake of it, because I'm doing my whole nail, might as well just do the whole nail. Um, but I really want to just take the shine off of the natural nail. That'll give something a little bit of texture for product to adhere to. Um, so I'm going to do this to all of my nails and then I'm going to dehydrate, which will remove any excess oil. And I do have a tea bag repair that I need to do. I'm going to do that off camera though. If you guys need a tea bag repair video, um, I do have one on this channel. So feel free to check that out. It's super fast. I promise. I think the video itself is less than 10 minutes long. It was a real time video. I didn't cut anything out. Um, it's literally start to finish how I fix a, um, you know, a little bit of a broken nail. You can do extensions with tea bags. Did you guys know that? I, I, I really am itching to do tips. I haven't had long nails in so long because I have school and I have to type and I have an online class that I have to do weekly discussion boards for. So I'm constantly on my laptop and writing papers and stuff. Um, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> you know me, I'm like awkward. I can't type with nails at all, but I'm dying to have long nails again. So maybe I'll do something with tea bag tips. We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dehydrate my nails now. This is the dehyd dehydrator. Um, I'm kind of testing out, we'll see how it works. So far it's been very good to me, I haven't had any problems. It's the Mia Secret, um, I think it's the prep. Yeah, the prep dehydrator. Uh, it's not satisfying, I love watching it dry. This is what it does. It literally dehyd dehyd shish shish dehydrates your nail right before your eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and dehydrate. Um, do I, you know what, dehydrator. I also wanted to test out making my own and if you've done that, please let me know and let me know how it works. But to the best of my knowledge, dehydrator is a mixture, I don't know what the ratio is, but it's a mixture of alcohol and acetone. And that's what I, I believe it is. So I'm going to do a little research and find out. Because if I can just make my own, why, why am I... You know me. Why am I spending money on stuff I don't need? Okay, so I've got everything dehydrated. There's my little... My little chip. Reminds me of that teacup from Beauty and the Beast. Remember that chip? I'm a big Disney fan. Are you guys Disney fans? And you would think, I live in Florida. I would be at Disney all the time. I've been there once. One time. And... It was a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> so I wouldn't go back, I don't think. Uh, luckily, my kids are a little bit older, um, so they don't really have a desire, but I digress. So I'm going to... Um, I did my tea bag repair, and I did a really crummy one, so we'll see if it actually holds up. But I'm going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something kind of... I don't want to say generic. I know there are a lot of professionals that can't go to work or to wherever they're going with crazy, wild nail designs. And I respect that because I'm sure I'll be in that boat in the very near future. So I wanted to do something simple and yet still a little Halloween-y. That's right. I said weenie. I'm using Kara Sky's Cream of the Crop. It's such a pretty, soft, neutral skin tone color. Um, and it applied really, really easily. This is one of those Kara Sky colors that I just love. It's always a fallback of mine. It's great for doing ombres. If you wanna do any color in the world ombre, this is a great color to ombre with because it's almost sheer. I mean, it does have some opacity to it and it does cover, but if you wanted to do like a scrub ombre, this would be a super awesome color to use for any color ombre. You could do blue or purple or you know pink or whatever. Just throwing that out there. Love this color. So I am going to um, I'm going to I'm going to speed through application because you've seen me do it a million times. I'm going to let you guys veg out and watch for a few minutes, and then I'm going to try to explain this whole dot of cure that I'm going to do. So stick with me and hang out for a minute, and I'll be right back.
So can anybody guess what we're going to do next? How predictable am I? <laughs> Cap and clear. Um, I wanted to jump back in. I know you don't need me to tell you that I'm going to put clear on top of this. I know you already know that. What I wanted to tell you was um, I, I want to do something kind of fun with you guys. Uh, I do get some people that message me on Instagram um, just with, with questions. And I'm not a nail technician. I'm not. I'm not a professional. I, I don't go to school for this. That's one of the questions actually people ask me. Do I go to school for you know, nail stuff. No, I don't. Um, if you want the truth, I'm actually in my third year undergrad for my, um, human service degree, my bachelor's degree in human services. And I plan on, um, pursuing my master's degree and becoming a licensed mental health technician or clinician rather. So that's what I go to school for. I'm not, I'm not going to beauty school. Um, I want nothing to do with it. I love doing nails. I love doing my own nails. <laughs> I don't, I don't have patience for other people's nails. Yeah, people move. I do like one girlfriend's nails and that's it. I limit it to that because A, I don't have time. I have class and kids and cats and I don't have time. Um, but also people are just so picky and I would feel honestly horrible. If I mess up my own nails, I don't care. You know, I'll, I'll do it over again. If I mess up somebody else's nails, I would feel absolutely terrible. So, um, but that's what I want to do with you guys. Not nails necessarily. Although I would, I mean, if y'all come down to Florida, hit me up, I'll see your nails. But um, I want you guys to ask me questions. I want, I want you guys to get to know me too. I wanna to get to know you guys. So I want everybody who is watching this video, comment down below, tell me something about yourself that I don't know and ask me a question. I don't care what it is. Um, I'm a pretty open person. Um, I have nothing to hide and I'll pretty much disclose anything with the exception of like my social security number. You can't have that. Or my, my, my pin for my debit card. Um, other than that, I'm an open book. So I would really love to hear from you guys. I want to get to know you guys. I want you guys to get to know me, um, especially some of my subscribers that have been with me for quite a while. You know, I, I, I want this to be a personal experience for you guys. And you're all my people. I want to know more about you. So I would love, love, love if you guys would do that for me. Just comment down below. And I will um, do my very best to try to respond to everybody. So thank you for humoring me. I hope you guys do. So anyway, back to nails. I put on my clear. I am putting on my activator, which is running low and I have to refill. I got these gigantic bottles. I, don't, I think I got them on Amazon, I think. Big bottles of refills. It's like a squeeze thing. You squeeze it in the thing and it refills and it's like magic. So I'm going to finish activating and then I'm going to get into some nail art, but I'm going to have to continue this voiceover. I think when I get home from class, <sighs> how much time do I have? I was really hoping I could finish this whole thing before my class started. I don't want to rush, but I don't want to be late. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to stick with you guys for a few more minutes and then I might have to go learn something. So after we activate, I'm going to go ahead and probably do my other hand off camera. I think that's what I'm about to go do. And then I'm going to come back for some um, freehand acrylics paint stuff because I've been stamping a lot lately and I feel bad. I feel like I'm cheating on all my acrylic paint. So I'm going to bust out my acrylic paints. I'm going to break out my dotting tool, which if you haven't gotten by now, I'm telling you, if you want to do nail art at all, you don't even need brushes. I don't, I don't think I've ever used an actual brush to do nail art. I mean, if you want to make lines, I guess probably you might need a brush. Although I've tried doing lines with a brush, I still suck at doing straight lines and skinny lines. I can do big fat crooked ones, but who wants that? So I got my, I got two different dotting tools. Um, they have different sized I don't know, dots <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Um, I think they may go by embossing tools if you look on Amazon. Um, I'll see if I can leave a link for you guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some dots. And I started doing them and my 10-year-old Mia was watching me do it and I showed it to her. And she goes, Mommy, they look kind of like eyeballs. And I'm like, yeah, they kind of do. So that's what we're doing. We're doing orange and purple eyeballs <laughs> on my nails. And... 
I mean, unless you know what they are, I don't think they actually look like eyeballs, but they are Halloween festive. And I think um, simple enough and elegant, maybe ish, to. They're like business casual. I'm doing business casual nails today, which I know is very unlike me. I, I typically go a little wild and crazy, especially uh, when I'm filming, but I wanted to do something a little bit different for, you know, those of you, A, who don't um, have the ability to do wild and crazy nail art type stuff on your own nails, or even if you don't do dip nails. Uh, I, I want to expand beyond just dip powder. If you do acrylic nails, if you do gel nails, if you do just natural nails with polish, or, or not polish, just naked nails. Whatever you're into, you can do this. So I, I realize I get a little out of um, out of frame here, and I apologize. It's really, really difficult to do this stuff on camera. <laughs> I want to hold my hands like super close to my face um, because I'm blind and I can't see anything. So we're gonna hope and pray that I don't mess this up. I don't think I did. So we're just going to um, start off by kind of sort of making a purple X and I always start in the middle because I feel like that's where I can get direction if I start in the middle I can go in whatever way if I start on the outside somewhere center is not going to be center and I'm a little OCD in case you guys haven't noticed that by now I'm a little OCD and if I don't have something centered and straight it's gonna drive me nuts so that's what I'm doing here I'm just putting dots in places so it looks somewhat symmetrical and centered. And I'm gonna start with the purple and then I'm gonna kind of go in between the X lines and uh, fill in with the orange. And then I'll lay, I, I layer colors. I'll layer um, the black and then I grab white eventually and I'll start layering the white. But I'm gonna let you guys watch. I'm gonna go to class before I get in trouble for being late. I'm gonna go learn stuff and things and I will continue this when I get out of class. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am home from school. Uh, it was a bit of a shorter class tonight. We were just doing midterm review stuff. Super fun. Um, anyway, I hope you guys um, are still having a good night. Uh, I want to get back into um, the quote unquote data cure that I am doing. So, as you guys saw, I did the purple X and then I went in with the orange and filled in the spaces um, I guess on the inside of the V's if you will and now I'm gonna go in with the black and I'm going just in the center of each of those dots with a teeny tiny little black dot and this is the point where my my little one my daughter Mia she's like they look kind of like eyeballs you need to put white in there. Oh my god, all right. <laughs> Whatever you say, you're the boss. So um, you'll see me do the black dots. And I am using two different size dotting tools for this. 
I don't really think you need to. It's just a matter of how much pressure um, you put on, on your dotting tool. You know, you want to barely touch it if you're making a teeny tiny little dot. Um, this is also something you don't want to rush. I think anything that requires nail art, a dotting tool, the brush, you want to be super careful. Take your time. Um, practice on swatches or even on, you know, pieces of paper. I'm, I'm not very technical here. You can see I put my acrylic paints on, on a Tupperware lid. One of the cheap ones, too. It's not even like an actual Tupperware. It's like a Chinese food <laughs> wonton soup container lid. Uh, now I want Chinese. Anyway, so um, I went and grabbed my white acrylic paint. And again, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but all of my acrylic paints are matte. I specifically find the matte acrylic paints um, because they like they dry matte and it's really easy to tell when they're dry enough to top coat. If I got the glossy type acrylic paints, they're pretty and they'll do the same job that you know you want your acrylic paint to do, but it's gonna be really tough to tell when they're dry. And that's why I like the matte ones. And you'll see when um, we top coat you're not gonna be able to tell if it's matte or shiny or glossy or whatever kind of acrylic paint. It's all gonna look the same under a glossy top coat anyway. So I'm going to um, finish up here with the white. And again, I'm using the lightest touch ever because I don't wanna I don't wanna cover up the layers of paint that I just put on. This is just, you know, um, the center. I'm losing my voice. I see, I talk too much. Maybe that's a sign. <laughs> Should I stop? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pro, I'm gonna press on. Um, I did f try to film me doing this with my non-dominant hands, and it was funny because as I'm filming it, I realized I was completely out of frame because I had to focus so hard doing it with my left hand. But that's how it looks. It doesn't match. I feel like I don't know how I messed up. I did somehow. I think maybe the circles are just too big. But in any event, it still looked cute. So. Now, a reminder, my right hand, I'm going to leave this, um, this set on. I may change up the design, which is why I left some of the other nails blank. So you can see, you know, I only did the one accent nail and I did a very neutral color. So I don't know, I may just um, use this as a palette, I guess, to do some other nail art. Um, if you guys want to see anything, you know, in particular, please let me know. Um, comment down below. If you want to see me do any type of specific nail art or any nail designs or use any different products, let me know because I don't know how a lot of other YouTubers run their channels, but here on Marla Chris's channel, I want to do what you guys want to see. You know, I'm, I'm having fun regardless. So you guys tell me what you want and I will make it happen. I have a couple of subscriber requests that I will be doing in the near future. I'm gonna do some gem placements, how to get gems to stick and stay and all that fun stuff. Um, oh, here we go. Friendly reminder, I am less than 50 subscribers away from doing Brian's nails. Brian's my sweet husband who has so selflessly volunteered his hands to me if I hit 500 subscribers and I might just make that video dips with tips you think he'll mind <laughs> I'm bad I'm terrible y'all are enablers too it's your fault too you are just as accountable as I am so let me know if um if you you want to stay tuned for all that kind of excitement oh it'll be fun for me, at least, it'll be fun. For him, it'll be tragic, but for me, it'll be fun. For you guys, it'll be fun. So I'm probably going to end up filming that sometime in the near future because, like I said, I think I only, as of right now, as it sits, as I'm recording this video, I have, I think, 454 subscribers. So what's that? 46? I'm 46 away. So close. I can't believe... I can't believe you all want to sit here and listen to me go on and on and on and ramble like I do. And you guys are amazing. Y'all crazy, but you're amazing. And I so appreciate you guys for sticking with me and 
you're the reason that this has gotten to where it's gotten. It's all because of you guys. And I want you guys to know how much I so truly appreciate each and every one of you, your kind words and your support and your genuine care. It means, it means the world to me. It really does. You guys are my people. I know I tell you that all the time, but you are, you're my people. And I love doing this. I love doing this for you and with you. That's why I want you guys to to interact with me. I want to know about you. I want you to know about me. And, you know, I want this to be a personal experience for all of us. So that's what I want. Um, Now that I'm asking you, what do you want? I did. I asked you what you wanted. Okay, we're good. We're on the same playing field here. I don't want to be selfish and just be like, be me, me. (laughs) So anyway, I'm going to finish top coating. You guys know, um, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the madness and to the dark side. Uh, I love I am Lee no wipe top coat. Um, I used to use the dip liquids. I had nothing but issues trying to get my dip liquid top coat to behave and not be weird. Um, so I just said, F it. I'm not using it anymore. And I, I, I skipped all that nonsense and went to gel polish top coat. And I have never regretted it. I love it so much. It's so much easier. It looks, in my opinion, so much nicer. I get that nice glossy finish. I don't have to worry about it misbehaving or getting funky or weird or goopy or nothing. No problems. So what was my investment? My investment was six bucks for my I Am Ali No Wipe gel top coat. And I think I paid, I don't know, somewhere around $30 for my LED UV um, gel polish lamp. And I'll list the one that I use down below. Um, it's a 72 watt, I believe, which is higher than most are, but I like that little extra security of knowing that it's got plenty of wattage to do what I need it to do. So I think as long as you're using, um, like a 48 watt, you're fine. Um, and there are some really good ones that are like under 20 bucks by all means, get whatever one you want. I just, I have my own personal preference. So anyway, this is how they came out. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in the next vid. Love you, bye.